And dump out all the celebrity mail. Celebrity mail. <laughs> and all the dinner invitations I received for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. I I'm going to be eating myself up all next week. <laughs> really heavy. Let's dump it out. Please, Doug. <laughs> well, you know, during the holidays, the mail's slow. <laughs> As is the material. <laughs> well, well, this week in honor of Thanksgiving, let's pick one that's foul. <laughs> They could have at least rinsed them. They could have at least rinsed them. Oh, there it is. We'll, we'll also give the guests the chicken wings. Oh, it's from Harry Fowle. No, it's not. It's from my great pal and fellow Weight Watcher, Julia Child. Dear Doug. My favorite dish. <laughs> Your show is my favorite program. That's because it always has a lot of yolks. Oh. Watching you on TV, you remind me of myself. You always have egg on your face. But Doug, you're so cute on television. Each time I see you, I have this fancy that we're together and I'm basting you. <laughs> you know, Doug, I'm the most famous woman cook in America. In fact, I'm the only woman cook in America. <laughs> True. But I, I make $2 million a year for cooking. Yeah. I get $100,000 for my TV show and $1.9 million for my husband. A casserole can cost. But as a woman, in all my years as a chef, I've learned that to cook for a man, you have to use plenty of butter, sugar, salt, animal fat, and grease. Otherwise, you could pay those insurance premiums for years. <laughs> so, Doug... Now that it's the Thanksgiving holidays, <laughs> please let me give you one critical cooking tip to your viewers, which incidentally also happens to be my favorite video. Well, well Julia, you know, first off, let me, let me thank you for you know, fixing me Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> and also thanks for defrosting it. <laughs> so here it is. Julia Child's favorite video are celebrity video. Celebrity video. Take it while it's hot. That's our Telstar number six video by Sweet Sensation. Take it while it's hot. Uh, you probably noticed the girls dancing in that video. And, Whoa, yeah, and, that, and, that, and that dance step probably looked familiar to you. Yes, that is the Charlie horse. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we'll have turkey flying around this week. I, I mean, I, I, I really think it's unfair that the turkey is not the national bird. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. know, the turkey should be the national bird. Yeah. Well, you know, Heckle and Jekyll should be the national bird, but, but fine comedy never gets its proper recognition. But, you know, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, Ben Franklin wanted the turkey to be the national bird, but everybody said no because, you know, he looked too much like Benjamin Harrison. And they were afraid that uh, Benjamin would think people were making fun of him. <laughs> yeah, he looked too much like Harrison. They were afraid Harrison would think they're making fun of him by making the turkey the national bird. Oh. That's what I, that's, you know, that, that's the whole premise of the whole thing. So they made the bald eagle a national bird. And of course, he, he only looks like Danny DeVito. <laughs> Then he wasn't in office then, so who cares, okay? And, and it's probably good, it's probably good that the bald, uh, bald eagle uh, is a national bird. I, I mean, who at Thanksgiving would, would want to eat stuffed bald eagle? 
I mean, you know. Mm, yum, more scalp, please. Makes <laughs> absolutely no sense uh, whatsoever. Uh, more scalp, please. That's what I said. But uh, anyway, I, I think we should know who and what we're eating at Thanksgiving. So I've got a, I've got a book here on the turkey. I bet you got to guess that, huh? And I want I think, you know, we should, we should know some things about the turkey. For example, the turkey was originally known as the guinea fowl. But, but nobody wanted to stuff something with that name. So the, uh, you know, the bread companies legally changed the name to uh, Butterball in 1923. Okay. They're bread companies. They're not comedy people. <laughs> the turkey eats seeds, insects, frogs, and lizards. Yeah, bear that in mind when you're carving. <laughs> too, bad, you know, too bad it doesn't eat breadcrumbs. That would have saved us a lot of work. <laughs> huh, guys? Yeah. During courtship, the male spreads his tail, drops his wings, shakes his quills, retracts his head, struts about, and utters rapid gobbling sounds. I gotta learn to close my blinds. <laughs> the male turkey assembles a harem and will cohabitate with dozens of females, which explains why when he sees an axe, he'll run to it. <laughs> The female turkey lays 18 to 15 brownish spotted eggs in a hollow in the ground, which she'll then cover with dirt until the check clears. No visitation, nothing. No visitation. Where did you hear about Thanksgiving? You heard it here. On the Dave Gamorian. On the Louis the Dave Gamorian. You heard it here. I wonder if some big, famous movie star will ask Doug to dance tonight at the Thanksgiving party. Sure, if the band plays a turkey trot. <laughs> now the caterers are making fun of me. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what's taking my guests so long to get here? Yeah, I mean, you guys remember? They, you know, they, they, they showed up beginning of the show. They were outside, down the lobby, and they're not here yet. Oh no, I forgot. I, I didn't even I didn't even invite my agent Judy Karn. I gotta call her right now. You know. Boy, oh boy. She's probably sitting home all alone by herself. Waiting for me to give her a call. Take her out for turkey croquettes. <laughs> Hi, Judy, it's Doug. Hey, listen, got a huge Thanksgiving party going over here. Yeah, you you'd love it. All kinds of big stars. Beverly Sills is singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, listen, can, can you come over? I'd love to have you, huh? Hello, pumpkin seed. Happy Turkey Day, darling, from here in La La Land. I'm oh, so sorry I couldn't make your party, but I'm having such a really wild weekend bash here in Hollywood. Zsa <laughs> Zsa cooked the turkey. Can you imagine? Oh, it was great. She just sacked it right into the oven. <laughs> Last year, Madonna cooked. Oh, she put the turkey in the microwave. My dear, we ate dinner at 7.30 in the morning. Oh, so I don't usually celebrate with turkey, dear. However, Robin Leach did drop by. Oh, listen, Dolly, I, I must run. Vanna is having a problem with her piñata. <laughs> Tilly girl. Bye, Dolly. Happy turkey day. Bye. Bye. Sure, Judy. Can't wait to get here. Don't have to bring a thing, just yourself. That's enough. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hey, Pop? Yeah, could you get Shelly Winters out of the elevator? I'm still stuck. Did the Jaws of Life arrive? It broke. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, okay, try the butter. Yeah. But if that doesn't work, in 10 minutes we blast. <laughs> now, our Telstar number five video is by P. Isadora, Heartbeat of Love. I tell you, I love P. Isadora. I, I, I really do. But, you know, everybody is trash, this poor girl, just because she married a 66-year-old billionaire who financed her career. In fact, let me read you some of the things that people have said about her. It's unbelievable. I'm going to read it to you. It's, 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 just, it's terrible. It's mean. And I, you know me, I hate meanness. Johnny Carson called her the next Rula Lenska. The New York Times said, quote, she looks like Bridget Bardot recycled through a kitchen compactor, unquote. Oh. And her own 66-year-old husband, after hearing she was pregnant, said, uh, good, now you'll have someone your own age to play with. That's awful. 
I mean, I mean, people, people are so mean to this sweet thing, and I've had it. Play your stinking video. Oh, That's the beautiful Pia Zadora, heartbeat of love, uh, wife wife of a uh, of billionaire Michelin Rickless. Yeah, Michelin Rickless. Y you notice in that video that the rap singer uh, calls Pia Mrs. Pia Zadora, and her husband's name is Rickless. Yeah, a, a billion dollars doesn't buy much anymore. Happy Thanksgiving, dog. You turkey. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you too, girls. Now, our Telstar number four video is called uh, I Live by the Groove. It's uh, by a British rocker, Paul Carrick. Uh, Paul says that uh, he doesn't look like a bloody rock star. But he will if he continues to call Isaac Hayes cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> 